is Clallam Bay in uh, Siku, Washington. Small little uh, fishing town right here on the coast off Highway 101, or a little ways off Highway 101. Look at, check out these awesome clouds in the distance. I think that's still Vancouver Island. What do you think, Bo? All right, so I met someone in the restaurant, um, in the breakfast place, really good meat omelet, and I'm headed to what is known as Nia Bay. And according to this woman, this is the most beautiful bay view of the, in the country. So we'll see if it lives up to expectation. It does already appear to be very beautiful. Just take a look at the coast right now. Awesome. This is so nice out here. So unfortunately, Nia Bay is closed. The, uh, it's on an Indian reservation and they are still closed due to COVID. Um, so we're gonna have to miss that this time. But check out this awesome view. This rock right here in the middle, right off the, the coast, right outside of the reservation. And there's a sweet ship and the clouds in the background. All right, so I'm just south of Nia Bay on the uh, coast and uh, check out these gorgeous views. Look at that. It's this private little beach right here. It's like an old resort that just shut down and I uh, got it all to myself and my other tourist friend that I just met out here. So Bo and I are now on the Ozette Trail. It's uh, to Cape Alava, Al Al Alva, Alava, something like that. Anyway, this is the westernmost point in the United States. So uh, continental region, of course. So that's pretty neat. Um, so yeah, I can say I made it to the very tip of America before Alaska. So it should be fun. It's about a three mile trail, um, mostly through uh, these kind of this forest here, just uh, right up to the coast. A lot of people will go camping back here and, and stuff. Um, it's a very wet kind of subtropical feel to it. Should be fun. All right, listen, you can hear the roar of the waves. Look at these uh, mossy trees. We're, almost to the coast, a three mile hike. Birds are, sound like toucans or something chirping. Look how misty it is out here, just like you'd expect, Pacific Northwest. All right, look at this. We made it, the westernmost point in the continental US. Isn't this beautiful? Just climb behind this rock here. And it's just a fog. The ocean just disappears into the fog. Bo thinks it's pretty neat. Made it from Atlanta all the way to the westernmost tip of Washington state. About as far as you can drive in this country. Can you believe that? When I set on this journey, I did not expect I would be here right now. I, I really didn't know what to expect. I thought there was maybe a 50-50 a chance I would even make it more than like a month and a half. But uh, here I am, almost three months now. It's wild. Uh, I'm very fortunate and grateful to have all these experiences to for my awesome travel companion right here. He's just been so great. Perfect dog for this on the trails, riding in the car, just giving me company and emotional support. Thank you, Bo. You did, you've, you're a great dog, watchdog too. 
and uh, really helps me meet, 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 meet people a lot because everyone loves them. So yeah, it's it's been three months now and uh, it's crazy. I'm, I'm, I'm maybe another month, month and a half, you know, um, I'm still thinking I'm gonna come down the coast uh, all the way down to San Diego, just work my way all the way down from the tip of Washington to the tip of Southern California and um, and back home, you know, about four or five months, which is about what I thought it'd be in the very beginning. I think that's what I said. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go from four to five months. So it's, it's looking like it's happening. So uh, uh, just pray God is with me through the rest of this trip and nothing catastrophic happens and I make it home safe without, and, and good health. Thanks for watching. Oh, look at this. That's some kind of dead animal right there. You can see it's got a, that's its rib. Oh, <laughs> this thing is old. <laughs> that feel good? Good boy. I think that's a dead whale. I read online, uh, there were a couple months ago, there was a beached whale here, so maybe that's it. <laughs> Bob, it's so old, don't eat that. Come on, go get him. Good boy. Good boy. Check this out, somebody made a, a bow and just left it out here. There's all this random stuff like a little swing, like a little little person's house in here. Buoys. I had a little lunch over here, right along the coast. Pretty cool. Wow, so check it out. This is the beach whale right here. Oh my gosh, Bo. Bo, you leave him alone. Bo. Wow. Is that a humpback? A little humpback? An orca? That's gross. <laughs> Bo, why you gotta roll right next to the whale? Look at this guy. Man. I thought that was a beautiful whale when it was alive. Check out all this washed up deadwood. These logs are pretty big. Give you a little perspective. Here's my hand. It's a pretty good size. I wonder how old this wood is and where, where it washed up from. Is this local or came from Asia or something like that? What do you think, Bo? This seaweed's pretty gnarly looking. It almost looks like a snake or something at the end of it with its head or um, like an eel or something. It's pretty cool. A lot of funky stuff I've seen on the ground here and a lot of different smells, but uh, it's, it's been really interesting. The, a lot of good smells, a lot of strange smells, but it smells like the beach. It smells really good.